been because of babysitting. Babysitting. I mean, is there anywhere in this city that's safe? I know you're worried about tomorrow being out there on our own. But you should be proud of showing that girl that kind of unconditional love that gave her the courage to leave. You're right. I guess you just have to let people go, even the ones you care the most about. We still talking about tomorrow? I just... I, I don't... I don't know why this happened. You know what? No matter how hard I try, I can't stop thinking about it. How... How did he let go so easily? I really, really thought that our relationship was worth more than just some cheap, cliche nonsense about how I deserve better. I mean, shouldn't I be the one that decides what I deserve and if I even want better? Even if I wanted total self-destruction, that is for me to decide. It's, it's my life. I know what you're thinking. I know it's too hard on the kid, but that's my style. And he needs to understand that every minute that goes by makes it less likely we'll find these girls alive. You're under a lot of stress, not just from the case. Whatever went down with you and your army buddy must have been bad for you to be bounced back to patrol. Now, I own my mistakes and I move on. Except you haven't. I mean, how could you when your whole identity is wrapped up in acting honorably? My guess is that's had a devastating effect on your self-esteem, which is why you've been punishing yourself. Okay, what are you talking about? Depriving yourself of something you love that brings you joy. Or more accurately, someone. Okay, so the secretary said that Matthew never came back from his lunch meeting. Of course. His poor wife. 